<laughs> Let me tell you something. See the enemy, yeah? They, do you know, they, they monitor you. We know this, okay? I just want to quickly go over it because I know that this is worrying someone that this message is for. So I just have to let you know this. They can study you and monitor you all they want. Because let me tell you something. They can never, ever be you. They can emulate you and they can try. And that wouldn't bother us. That's, that wouldn't bother us. Because I'm not talking about when you inspire someone or when someone looks at you and, and they think, oh, yeah, like, yeah, inspire. Insp when you're an inspiration to someone, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about coming up against you. There are people watching you. Coming up against you and they want to mirror you and your ways and that's why they're watching you that's why they're studying you they want to know when you're going left when you're going right how you think right how you're thinking how you're feeling and that's why they're monitoring and watching you because they can see that what would send them crazy and what is sending them crazy does not bother you and so they think that by studying you copying you mirroring your ways that's going that's what's going to be what defeats you but let me, it's not, it, do you know why it's not going to happen? Because God is not with them. That's how you know if this message is for you or not. Because you need to question, is God with me? Is God with me? Is he for me? Am I, am I following in his footsteps? Am I doing what the Lord would have me do? Am I trying to live in the spirit? At least even just trying. Because God loves a trier, you know. That's what that saying really means. You see how God, Satan rather, you see how he comes and perverts things. God loves a trier, meaning God loves someone that goes out there and works really hard and does everything of his own accord. Listen, yes, there is something something to be said for hard work and for doing things and putting your hand to the plough in a physical sense, you know, trying to go and get what it is you you are aiming for. But remember, that was a curse. In Genesis, God made it very clear when he cursed Adam, when he cursed man, you will till the soil. All the days of your life just to eat. So when we were reconciled to God, when, when we became friends again with him through Christ, through accepting Jesus and all that Jesus is and who he is and what he has done for us and why. That's when you can live further to the grace that everyone lives under because everyone's under grace you know everyone's living breathing thinking feeling everyone has a chance his mercies are renewed each morning everyone has a chance as long as they are alive to repent to confess their sins to repent to be make themselves humble small everyone has a chance each morning to to start again to make things right that's grace but when you are a child of God, when you belong to him, you are further to the grace that everyone enjoys. You now come into his love. You now come into what faith produces, which is provision, protection. A watchful lion, on you, a caring hand. I don't know about you, but I was loved as a child and I know what that means and what that is. And it's something we lose and we forget about when we get older or we pine over remembering those days when we were kids so when you when you're now walking in God with in in Christ you are with God and he is with and for you and if any of you are parents out there you know or you you have had parents that love you you know what it means look at my child bring him up <laughs> you know what it means look just at the right time you know what it means to be loved and cared for you know even this little kitty here, this little kitten. I love her. Look, have a look at her. She is so cute. Hello. She's so cute. Her name's Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Can I take her, Mummy? Yes, baby. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Thank you for bringing her in at the right time. Ow! Ow, saying, oh, my hand! Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. My oh. arms are hurting. Good to you, Mummy. Bye, baby. So, as if by example, my, <laughs> my little girl brought this little cherry in to show you. To show you when you're loved, you know, when you're cared for. Mm, little kitty. So my hands are cut up. <laughs> From my little 
little claws. When you're, when you're cared for, you know what that is. And that's, that's exactly how God cares for you when you are in Christ. So this word is just to tell you, to reassure you, listen, stop worrying. They can copy you. They can emulate you. They can monitor you all they want. They're not going to be able to become under the same grace and blessings and as you. They're not going to be able to fight the way you do because they don't have God with them. And it's as simple as that. God is not with them. God is not pleased with them. He is not with them. He said, you are either with me or you are against me. And those that are with him, they leave. They forget, They vacate. They don't come into agreement. They don't gather with the enemy. And that's how you'll know who they are. It's by their fruits you shall know them. I don't know. Take it.